So you're expecting the talk with the data and the graphs and the guilt, and you want that? See me afterwards? I'm going to take a different direction on this. It's inspired by Portland blogger Dana Putnam. First of all, show of hands, how many of you know what gas costs? I have no idea. I bike because I am cheap. I don't pay for parking. I don't worry about insurance. My daughter, who's here tonight, had a blowout on her tire the other day at a stoplight, 110 bucks. Except those things have four of them, and you have to replace them all. I don't like that part. How many of you would like a raise of over $7,000 a year? Okay, don't talk to your boss. That's how much it costs you to run your car. That's according to AAA, and that's when gas, gas costs about $2.30 a gallon. I understand it's more now. Not sure, of course. So I bike also because I am lazy. How many of you had to walk to the parking lot to get your car and then drive here and find a parking lot spot? Walk to the building, don't walking. I pretty much bike point to point. I am so lazy that sometimes I actually if the slide is going to show you this, I take my bike inside. This redefines indoor parking, I believe. My ride to work also is mostly downhill, so I coast. So it's a little counterintuitive, but you can bike if you're lazy. There are many reasons, these are sort of like character flaws, I think my mom might say, to bike. I'm also impatient. I always hated waiting at stoplights. There really isn't time to finish reading the article before the light changes, for one thing. Can't do your nails. But when I'm on my bike and I get to the stoplight, it's really just a chance to catch my breath. So I've got a new attitude about stoplights. They're a good thing. I bet you don't share that. Another thing for you, even if you're never going to get off out of your car, if all of us on our bikes and all the people on the bus do get back in our cars, look what we do. We're in front of you now at the stoplight. So if you're impatient, you want us to keep riding. We're riding the bus. I also hate one ways because there is no point to it. You're going like this and like this and like this. On my bike, I get off, I walk a block, I get back in the lane and keep going. I am continuing to move towards my destination while you're stuck at the light. So if you're impatient, biking is great for you. Also a little bit of a control freak, although I thought of titling this Mechanically Inept. And the men in here, you don't have to fess up. But when I take my car to the shop and they tell me things I don't understand, I have to pay them a lot of money. Remember, I'm cheap and I'm impatient. So I don't like that part. But I can actually fix my own flat on the bike. The technology has not changed that much since the Wright brothers. So I get to feel like I'm in control at this point. It's a great feeling. It's not a great picture because it was from my cell phone, but I'm genuinely changing that flat tire and going on my way. These are other reasons I'm not saying this is about you, it's about me. Low self-esteem or flip side, big ego. When I'm pedaling and I feel the wind and I'm making the wind myself because I'm going so fast, awesome. I'm going like 17 miles an hour, it's not that fast. You're gonna pass me, but I feel great about it. This one is not about you at all. This is, and maybe it's about me, but if you think about what's cool right now, it is not you in your SUV on the way to Costco to pick up a gallon of ranch dressing and five pounds of tater tots. You're not gonna be on the tourism brochure cover or magazine cover. I think this is the people leaving Cirque du Soleil the other night, possibly. You know what picture is going to be on the tourism brochure cover, don't you? This is a total setup, and you know what it takes to look cool. The only thing missing from this shot is the farmer's market vegetables. So you can be hip and cool and urban just by getting on a bike. Who knew it was so simple? I thought it cost a lot more, actually, and shopping at better stores, possibly, as well. There are other sort of character issues. This is an excuse to shop for men as well as for women. If you like buying something and then bragging to your friends about how yours is better than theirs, biking is totally for you. And there's more than one rider here. I know you know what I'm talking about. Technical fabric, special food. There's basically sugar in a pouch, but it's special food. You knew I was going to do a little bit of this piece. If you like knowing what's good for other people and telling them about it, biking is totally your thing. So when other people are talking about the problems of the world, it's air pollution, it's peak oil, it's urban sprawl, it's diabetes and obesity. If you ride a bike, you're not responsible for any of that. How cool is that? So you can have this. You can, yeah, and skipping might help with this too. Or you can have that. So back to the cool, hip, urban, trend-setting piece of this. So we've, we do have a lot of problems in the world. I do think that biking is the only thing that actually solves a lot of these problems all at once. You do get to be healthier and save money and all that. But also, it's so simple a child can do it. And it's fun. Remember when you learn to ride your bike and you have that sense of freedom and I don't have to wait for mom or dad to get in the car, which was the limitation in your life at that point. You could ride your bike. So if you have any of these character flaws, you don't have to admit it out loud, or these, you know, maybe it's psychological issues. Therapy costs a lot. And you could take a little bit of that money and you could ride a bike. Thanks.